You ready for calls? Absolutely. You ready? Yeah. Don't get, don't get bucked out of the saddle on this one. <laughs>、um, Adam in North Carolina, how you doing? You're on with Jamie. Doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah. 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 Thanks for calling in. What did you want to talk about today? Well, I just want to say it's, it's amazing that、uh, Faithless Forum brought so many people together, especially、uh, Rationality Rules and Rachel Oates and you know, Cosmic. I could go on and on and name every single one. We don't need to today, but、um, I'm very excited for, for those who put it on. Yeah, I, I agree yeah, with yeah. you there, sir. It was, it was incredible.、Oh, yeah. So nice to meet,、um, well, what, who are my heroes? So, yeah, absolutely. It was fantastic. Notice、What's、he didn't、that? list anyone. Two <laughs> topics that maybe you can tell me which one you think would be best. I called in before.、Mm-hmm. Um, you might remember when we spoke.、Um, I'm an agnostic deist, and I find my beliefs to be rather innocuous because they really don't control my life much.、It's、well, that sounds like a perfect the- topic, actually. If, you, if you're、oh, great, great. searching for one. <laughs> so,、uh, you're an agnostic deist. What led you to that conclusion? Or rather, for, for the people at home and for Stephen as well, probably, what does that mean that you believe about a God? <laughs> sure. So, to best describe it fully, would be I think it's quite possible that a God or gods exist. I'm not going to go to polytheism, but.、Um, Maybe it's just due to my upbringing that I have this strong innate belief in me, but I can't shake that belief and I can't deny it. And I don't affirm that gods exist. I don't affirm that gods don't exist. I just think it's merely possible that a god might exist. That's about the best way I can describe it. I, I would say that I'm with you. It's possible.、Um, what, what's interesting to me is whether or not it's probable. Something you mentioned at the beginning was about how your belief. Doesn't really make it so that you claim jurisdiction over the experience of others, you know, such as、uh, who they can sleep with and what position. And so, to a large extent, someone like me, who is completely non religious or atheist, I've got no issues. Like, fair play, man. Like, that's, that's just the position you're in. But I am curious as to why you have that belief, why, you're, why you are in this position where you are not happy to say that you suspect that there is no God. Instead, you're in this position where it seems that you have a, would you say more than 50% certainty that there is a God? That's a good question.、Um, if I had to say how certain I am, maybe it's 51, 50.1%. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so very, very much an agnostic position, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it's、um, I've heard a saying one time like, an agnostic is a, on a good day, an atheist on a bad day, a theist.、Um, <laughs> but. I,、um, I, I can't really even pin, i t best I can do by dissecting myself, I would say maybe it's how I was brought up.、Uh, I'll give you the 10 second intro on that.、Uh, Catholic Jewish family went to a Baptist school, confirmed to a Presbyterian church, went to Methodist and Lutheran churches also.、Oh, fair enough.、Mm. Ed, wait, did you grow up in North Carolina?、Uh, yeah, I don't want to. Too much. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just meant like. A, no, it's all right. Your, I, I was, your voice and upbringing was, don't, don't match the. School in North Carolina.、Um, yeah, it's,、uh, it's narrowed down the field a little bit there. Well, I don't、um, know. I, I wasn't going to really push beyond that. I just was thinking about the level of religiosity、uh, that you were exposed to and, and indoctrination that you were raised in.、Um, because. You know, Basically, the only thing that's that consistent that. throughout、um, what you've described about your family and all of those churches is that there is a God in those traditions. But every other point of doctrine or attitude or description of that God varies. And I think that starting from there and then looking at where you are now, that appears to be the only thing you're holding on to still. Is that accurate to yeah, say? Guess, like, how would I. Maybe let me pull the conversation to this. How would I shake this? Or, I mean, I don't know. If, I mean, I don't even feel like I need to shake it. I don't know. I mean, I, I go out and I do good things and I try to foster community and I really like what the atheist community of Austin has done.、Um, Stop、so、by, say hi. Your thoughts. So, oh. No, no, no. I, I don't want to rob your show. You go. No, no, no. It's your guest. All right. I'll rob your show. Yeah, so, Texas politeness beats UK any day.、So. 
Well, we, we, we'll see about that. After you, partner. Um, I think you are bang on the money, Adam, when you were saying that you have this position where it doesn't. it's not divisive. It's just that you're convinced that a god probably exists. And there is no reason why you can't interact with me, for example, and us to have issues. We don't. So, so to the largest extent, if you're happy, then I'm happy because that's just the level we're at. But if you do want to step further, if you do want to start seeing whether or not you can justify your position, then I guess my question would be, why do you believe in a god or a deistic position at all? Is it a teleological argument? Do you look at humans, for example, and see that we're very complex and you think maybe then surely there's something involved there? Or is it something to do with the universe and some kind of cosmological argument? Um, but but yeah, ultimately... I would say it's the Kalam. It's the Kalam, the yeah. Out, I'd say it's the Kalam. So the Kalam cosmological argument, and tell me if I'm incorrect in using the version that you're probably um, referring to, is that whatever begins to exist has a cause, the universe began to exist, therefore the universe had a cause. Would that be fair? Yep. Sure. So we could argue and we could discuss whether or not the universe actually began to exist. And by universe, we mean absolutely everything, not just time and space, we mean energy and matter. And that would mean, of course, a violation of the second law of thermodynamics, which is that you cannot create or destroy uh, matter or energy. And that's something that we've observed. And it seems that the Big Bang doesn't, doesn't really have anything to say on that. But let's just assume that the universe did have a cause. Why would we assume that the cause has any intelligence? Why would we assume that it's one and not many? Um, why would we put any kind of attributes on this whatsoever, really? Because if you don't, then what we have is that the universe was caused, okay? That's, that's all we've got. Uh, whereas, basically, and what I'm trying to dive into here is what is your justification for being a deist rather than just somebody who believes that the universe began to exist? No, and, and I think you've pointed it out. I agree with you 100% that I think it is, pl I would say it is plausible that the universe had a cause. And like you said, and I really, I think it was last year, you might've been talking about, um, oh, I can't even think of the correct words right now, but when you get down to the really small, um, you were talking about how everything breaks down at yeah. the Planck, Planck time and all that good stuff there, which how much certainty do we even have that the universe began to exist? And I, that's maybe why I called it now. And I'm so lucky to get to speak to you on this um, because my best way to describe it, and like you said, I don't know anything about this cause really, other than I think it's possible that something caused the universe, and that's about all I know. And I think it's possible that thing could be described as a god that may or may not exist now, and I ascribe no qualities to. It's the most vapid god you've ever heard of. I, th I think that's um, that's an interesting situation there because we can call it god, and you know you're looking at Spinoza's kind of god in in, mm. in this area, which is basically something that is not in any way like how we culturally yeah. define a god. It's essentially you're naming energy god. I say Spinoza's god <laughs> uh, it, with air quotes. I think I might start using that. Yeah. I mean, that's describe how I do things. Well, I, I, I think it's good, but I think the, the place where Spinoza and then Einstein after him fell short was uh, still using a, a, the misnomer god to describe existence. So what I would say is that the reason that even people that recognize that the thing that is commonly called God or what anyone would think of in terms of, oh, there being a God uh, in our culture at all, even the non-religious, using that word to describe things that you think exist is, I think, a failing of communication. I mean, really, I would say, if you think about the history of uh, human beings learning about the universe and describing things as God, um, the only reason I can see that Spinoza or Einstein or you, Adam, are referring to existence or the beginning of the universe as God is a sort of uh, unspoken tradition of describing things with that word. But we're at a point in time where it's better to be more accurate in your language. I agree. And, you know, I might move on from this one day and I appreciate the conversation and Maybe we'll get some more hardcore theists. Sorry, I'm... No, 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 no. no, no. Some, something I, I really love about this conversation, Adam, is that um, 
the way in which you're approaching it, you can just tell that you're not emotionally invested. And so you're interested in having these kind of conversations. And already with like 13 minutes, we've been on the call. It seems you're at this position where you're thinking, maybe I shouldn't call it a god because it doesn't have god yeah. attributes. But but the the expression that I'm really getting from you, and I really appreciate it, is that we don't know the answers here and there when it comes to these kind of situations. And so we have to remain uh, agnostic. So I, I, I do appreciate that. And I'm, I'm, I'm there with you because there's m we basically can know nothing with certainty. Maybe I think, therefore, I am. Um, and to admit that when we are in certain um, uh, areas, such as the Big Bang, such as when the universe began, to admit in those situations that we really don't know what we're talking about is something that a hell of a lot of people don't do, and they really should from either side. I agree so much. And, and maybe, I don't know if it's a good thing, Darth Dawkins will call up and you'll get to argue on whether or not we're a brain of that. Ooh. So let's do it. I, oh, my. <laughs> Thank you guys very much and have a great day. Uh, thank you, Adam. Take care, Adam.